So we're on to our last segment, which is actually our calls to action. Because with the Tomasic Shophouse Conversations, it's not just talk. We must act or else it's, it's nothing. So we're going to start off with Ming Xu. And thanks uh, everyone for actually staying to now. Um, just a brief sharing on the cost to action for Campus Sci. So just now I think there's a lot of conversation on peer support uh, among school students in the IHLs and also young working professionals. So uh, Tasneem has mentioned earlier that we actually have this program called the Campus Sci Ambassadors Program, right? Uh, volunteers um, who are youth or young working professionals aged 17 to 35 years old. They undergo a two-week online training program in basic mental literacy and peer support skills, suicide response, self-care strategies and trauma-informed care. So this is in collaboration with different mental health partners or social service agencies like the Singapore Social Mental Health, Samaritans of Singapore, Caregivers Alliance and Silver Urban Singapore. Yeah, so upon completion of this training, they will be certified as Campus Science Ambassadors and will be able to provide basic emotional support to distressed youth through Campus Science One Stop by Youth, For Youth Ecosystem, Peer Support for Youth Service, which is ESI in short. Um, it consists of text-based email and video conferencing platforms. So I mean, if you are keen or if you know any young person or young working professional who's keen to be trained as a peer supporter, right, feel free to actually scan the QR code later after this session. Thank you. We'll be giving the QR code soon. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mingxiu. And uh, there, there you have it. The QR codes there. Vic, thank you so much. Um, yours is on the KKH Youth Connect program. Okay. Um, at KK Hospital, we believe in uh, providing early access to care. So we're launching the Youth Connect program. Um, it's going to get so the Youth Connect program aims to develop, develop a set of resources for self-help and guided self-help. We aim to use these resources for, as an intervention for mild mental health symptoms for young people aged 10 to 18 years old. And what we'd like to do as a call to action is to invite the audience to volunteer either in person or online via our uh, focus groups that we'll be organizing to provide their thoughts, insights, and comments so we can better craft these resources. We need youths, parents, families, and anyone who has any interest in this area or experience in this area to help us make these resources more engaging and relatable. We look forward to your participation and thank you for joining this call to action. Thank you so much, Vic. I appreciate that. And the last call to action is being uh, quickly presented by uh, Eric Tan from SOS. Thanks so much, Eric. Hi everybody, my name is Eric, I'm from SOS. And uh, for the benefit of everybody who do not know about SOS, we are the agency advocating for suicide prevention. And our range of services actually ranges from um, prevention, intervention and post-intervention. So we have two very core services over here today that we'd like to share. One of them is actually our 24 hours crisis support call. And the other one is actually our care tax. So, uh, talking about care, uh, or talking about call to action. Now, um, we have some findings, all right? So, uh, since the circuit breaker in April 2020, SOS has observed that 30%, there's a 30% increase in our 24 hotline. And at the same time, uh, the, in our care tax itself, uh, first time user of the text messaging system has actually went up by 70%. So as a result, suicide prevention has become a national priority. So what is care tax? Oh, sorry, what is chat safe? Sorry, what is chat safe? So chat safe is an initiative or it's a program developed and introduced by Origin Australia. All right, um, SOS is very blessed to be given the rights, the distribution right in Singapore, so that we are able to, you know, uh, populate this knowledge um, in Singapore to the youth. And I, for this itself, I like to, I like everybody to give the Masik Foundation a round of applause because without their, their, their grant itself, their support, this would not have been possible. All right. So again, um, with this set of guidelines, we have actually uh, gotten the grant from Thermasic Foundation to localize it, create uh, modules um, easily accepted by the youth in Singapore. And uh, with that itself, we also created a set of uh, social media campaigns called the Post Before You Post campaign uh, over three months to engage the youth to create awareness. 
So um, a three-month campaign to help the youth navigate uh, suicide safely online, to reframe mindset and empower people to reach out to those in distress. So we have reached uh, about 26 million uh, over the past years itself. Okay, I'll skip this. All right, uh, and again, the training, uh, the training curriculum currently, we are actually working with IHLs. Okay, uh, we have trained uh, close to 100 youth via SUSS and ongoing talks and workshops. Um, and um, close to 90% of the attendees has given feedbacks that knowledge share was very useful. Now, reaching out to more in 2020 and beyond as part of our sustainability plan itself. Okay, last but not least, a good news to be shared with everybody. Now, uh, which again uh, reinforces with uh, whatever the experts have uh, actually cited just now. Like, chat safe is for the youth. What about moving forward? So, when your kids are facing some crisis or some trouble in school, who do you think the school will call? Definitely, it's the parents. So, again, we have we are working with uh, Origin Australia again to bring chat safe for the parents and caregivers, so that we can strengthen the bond and uh, between the kids and the parents uh, in order for them to get to know uh, the younger generation better. Thank you very much.